things are getting serious. <laughs> Hey everyone, Scott here with Texas X Lander. Hey, I gotta get some uh, repairs done to the Jeep. UPS was supposed to deliver yesterday the part that I needed from uh, Curry Enterprises in Corona, California. And um, yeah, it didn't arrive. So it went to the local UPS distribution center and we have success. I was able to pick up the curry box and something a bit extra if you know me you know that I like my uh, donuts anyway so off to River City off-road uh, out here in Dripping Springs and What kind of trouble are you getting in today? I know you're getting in trouble, aren't you? If you know anything about GSPs, you know I speak the truth. Whoa. That ain't right. What's that? That's not on there right. That, that ring is supposed to be pressed all the way down. Hold on. Point to it and tell me what's going on here. This, they call it a wedding band. Uh, it's supposed to be pressed all the way down. To hold the bearing. To hold the bearing in place. So that's what's causing the leak. Possibly. Okay. So Tim here at River City Off-Road, he just, uh, is now pulling the rear driver's side axle out. He identified the wedding ring on the axle is not where it should be. <laughs> Things are getting serious. So Tim made quick work of getting the uh, old seal and bearing and wedding ring off and getting ready to assemble the uh, new seal and bearing and wedding ring and just taking his time, making sure everything's clean. So I'm gonna take advantage of the opportunity here while it's out to give you a up close look of what a Curry Enterprises 40 spline axle looks like it is quite beefy from start to finish it took tim about two hours to complete this repair 250 miles later my abs and traction control warning lights are gone and there is no more gear oil leaking from my axle before leaving river city off-road marcus put the final touches on my rig Greasing all my fittings and a quick inspection to make sure we are ready for the next adventure. Mm -hmm. 